Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series called Sneaker Jargon, where I talk about the terminology, the, you know, the words used by sneaker heads in either their day-to-day -day lives or in YouTube videos, for an example like mine, and try and explain to you what the terminology means, so you, as either a casual viewer or a long-time sneaker fan yourself, have a better understanding or now fully understand what it means when someone says these words and talks about these words in their videos or in, you know, day-to-day -day conversations. Now, in the first video, my first video of the series, I'm thinking of covering something very basic, something very easy to understand, which is the idea of colorways. So, hopefully after this video, you'll be able to understand and be able to apply the knowledge you now know. But to, in this video, I'm going to talk about colorways, hopefully to clear up, you know, any confusion that you may have on what a colorway is and what colorways are in sneaker culture. Now to lay some groundwork so we can all understand and all have a grasp and idea on what a colorway is, I'm going to use the Google definition for colorway and then I'm going to apply it to sneaker culture. So a colorway, according to Google, is any of a range of combinations of color in which a style or design is available. So to simplify it a little bit, what Google's saying is that a colorway is a, any range of combinations of color that then by being combined together, not mixed together, but used together, creates a, not necessarily a new color, but a color way. So if you, you know, put two colors together, not mixing them together, but if you put the two colors on like a white canvas, someone would then be able to go over to these two colors on a canvas and say, oh, let's call this use of these two colors, this colorway, you know, the, um, uh, the magnificent colorway. So every single time someone uses those two colors in that exact way, instead of saying, oh, it's, bl it's blah, 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 these colors, we'll say it's the magnificent colorway, as we have dubbed before, as we've now called it that. Now that same idea and that same way of thinking is applied and used in the sneaker culture. So when I talk about on the channel, I say, oh, it's this colorway, it's that colorway. What I'm talking about is, is I'm talking about a combination of colors that are used together on a certain pair of shoes. Now you may wonder, but Daniel, that's pretty vague, man. You could, using that logic, that means any combination of colors, once they've been used on a pair of shoes and then defined by that pair of shoes, that could be applied to any shoe. How do you know what, how do I know what you're talking about if you say a certain colorway and then someone uses those colors in that colorway on any pair of sneakers? You're totally right. In, in this case, if I was to talk about the bread colorway, and just to fill you in, the bread colorway is simply just the color combination of using black and red together. If I was to say, these are the breads, you would be like, oh, so it's the black and reds, but what shoe are you talking about? Because the bread colorway is just the color use or the color combination of using black and red. How do I know when you say the breads, you're referring to a certain pair of shoes? Well, in the sneaker culture, when someone's talking about a colorway without any given context, most likely they're referring to the shoe that pioneered the colorway. Now you're probably wondering, but if I don't know what they're talking about, if I'm not given any context, the colorway could be any shoe. I don't know what shoe defines a certain colorway. And true, that's a hard thing to understand and a hard thing to get into when you first start off in the sneaker culture. And you do have to do a little bit of research to find out which shoes originally pioneered which colorways. So if someone without any context is talking about, let's go back to using the bread colorway, the black and red colorway, when they talk about the breads, if you're not given any context, like they're not saying, oh, the Yeezy breads or the, the um, blah, blah, blah breads, when they're talking about the just the breads, they're usually referring to the shoe that pioneered the bread colorway, which in this case, is the Air Jordan 1. Now, you obviously, if you've watch, been watching this channel for a while, you know my love for the Air Jordan 1, but the Air Jordan 1 breads pioneered that colorway. 
So if you're not given any context at all, if someone's just saying, what are your thoughts on the breads releasing this year? Which they are. If you didn't know, the Jordan 1 breads are re-releasing this year. But if I wasn't to say the Jordan 1 breads, and I just said, what are your thoughts on the breads re like releasing this year? Without context, if you're inside the culture or have some understanding of the culture, you'll know that it's the Jordan 1 breads I'm referring to. Now, obviously, usually people ask for confirmation on that. They'll be like, oh, you mean the bread one, the bread ones, ones, sign you know, signifying that it's the Jordan ones, the bread ones that are releasing at the end of this year. Then usually the conversation will continue by saying, yeah, the bread ones that are releasing at the end of this year. But to, to fill you in, if someone's referring to a certain colorway without any context, you have to just either know or just know your re by researching it or just by, you know, being inside the culture for that, you know, period of time. That if someone's referring to a colorway without any context of any silhouettes or shoes beforehand, it is always going to be the one that pioneered the colorway. Okay, so we've discussed what a colorway is and the idea that certain shoes can pioneer colorways. Now we're going to discuss... Can colorways be exclusive to certain silhouettes of shoes or can they be applied to every shoe? So you've probably asked the question now. Well, if a colorway is a combination of colors and if certain shoes debut or define a colorway through its history, does that mean only that shoe can have that colorway? In the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a hard question to answer because I want to say yes. I want to say that now that Jordan brand debuted the bread colorway, only Jordans can have the bread colorway. And that means that not specifically just the Jordan 1, but the Jordan 2s, 3s, 11s, whatever. Jordan brand can get away with applying the bread colorway to other Jordans and it won't anger the culture too much in you know applying that colorway to other Jordans because Jordan brand pioneered and debuted that colorway but unfortunately I can't generalize and say that because a shoe or a brand debuted a colorway means that only that brand or colorway oh sorry that brand or silhouette can use that colorway because in the in the example of the bread colorway the black and red colorway it has been used on things like Yeezys. So Kanye debuted the uh, Yeezy 350 V2s. And one of the colorways of the Yeezy 350 V2s has been dubbed the Breads. But here's the thing. It wasn't Kanye that specifically dubbed it the Breads. Or if he did, it wasn't exactly accepted as the Bread colorway. It was the culture itself that has now dubbed the Yeezy 350s that are black and red as bread 350 V2s. So colorways, even though they're a color combination, shoes can't be called, uh, the, for an example, the bread colorway just because they have black or red on them. It's up to the culture. And there's no, there's no Facebook poll. There's no yes or no, these are going to be called the breads. It's... And a pretty, a pretty, you know, democratic vote amongst all the people if we're going to call them the bread colorway or not. And it, that's just how it works. So not every shoe that's black or red can be dubbed the bread colorway. It just doesn't work like that. The culture, the sneaker culture, has to essentially agree over time that if that shoe is black or red, it will be called the bread colorway etc. Whatever the shoe is, for an example, if they were black or red Stan Smiths, it, the culture has to confirm that they will be called the Stan Smith breads. And that's basically it when it comes to if the colorways can exclusively only be applied to, you know, a certain brand or a certain silhouette of shoe. It comes down to the culture's opinion. The culture has to choose if that, if the shoe in question is going to be called the bread whatevers. It comes down to them, guys. It's not up to the business. The business may have some influence on the culture, but it, again, comes down to the culture. If they're going to call the pair of shoes in question the, the whatever colorway, 
It's not up to the business, which I think is a very cool thing. I think it's a very interesting aspect of the sneaker uh, sneakerhead culture that it's not down to the business entirely on is this shoe going to be dubbed this colorway because it uses this color combination. It comes down to the sneaker culture itself. And that's all we've really got to cover about colorways, guys. The, the three main points that a colorway is a combination of colors that are then given a name, that the combination is then given a name, that two, shoes pioneer colorways, that when a colorway is talked about, it's usually referring to the shoe or brand that pioneered the colorway, and three, the culture defines what shoes are what colorways. Not the brand, not some vote on Facebook, it is the culture that defines what shoe is what colorway. And that's the downside to people that are coming into the culture initially because you won't know which shoes are which colorway unless you've, you know, had your head in the game for ages. But I'm hoping that cleared it all up, guys. I'm hoping this little video color, you know, <laughs> covered what colorways are. But if you see me in future videos or you might hear it on the streets, if you hear someone referring to colorways, you now have a little bit more of an understanding on what a colorway is. Just quickly to say, I've only covered one colorway today, guys. I've only talked about the bread colorway. The idea that black and red, when combined together, makes the bread colorway. But there are hundreds, if not thousands of colorways to learn about. Which just means hundreds to thousands of pairs of shoes, you just have to know pioneered that colorway. Again, it's up to you guys, if you're interested in the culture, to research and understand it. But that's it. That's all we really have to say about colorways, guys. It's a, it's a simple little thing. It's just the combination of colors put together and then given a name. But there's a lot more to it, as you now know. I'd just like to say a quick thank you all for watching today. I hope that this video explained colorways a little bit diff- Oh, well not differently, but better, in the sense that now you should understand a little bit more about what colorways mean in the sneaker culture at large. And hopefully, now when I talk about it in my videos, when you hear it on the streets from sneakerheads, if you ever have to talk to a sneakerhead, if they're talking about a colorway, or if they, you know, talk about a certain shoe and the, they say the colorway name after it, you kind of have an idea of what they're talking about these days. And if you have any further questions about any colorways in particular, or any other questions to do with colorways, don't forget to drop it in the comment section below, guys. I'll try and answer it the best I can from what I know, but f today's video has been covering my understanding of colorways and what I think a colorway is. Obviously, other people will say differently, but this I would say that how I understand it is how most sneakerheads would understand what a colorway is. But I hope this helped you out now in understanding what it is. Uh, before we head off, don't forget to check the socials in the description below. Help me out. Come say good day. All those good things. And that's all I got to say about colorways, guys. So until next time, I'll catch you later.